Good evening to you. So, after a long time away, too long to be frank, the Commons is back and Liz Truss is talking to her new cabinet in number 10 in person. And along comes the IFS, the Institute for Fiscal Studies, with a sort of welcome back to school present for the Prime Minister. Now, the IFS has a special constitutional status in this country, a bunch of people who all sides have agreed basically know stuff. People who, in a world where we trust nobody, politicians have agreed, are generally speaking trustworthy and right. So, what was their present for Liz? An innocently titled report on the public finances, which said that to stabilise Britain's soaring debt in five years' time, £62 billion of cuts would be needed. Even if the government reversed all the tax cuts, that would not be enough. The markets, remember, insist the sums must add up. To make themselves crystal clear, the IFS explained that these new cuts would involve, for instance, refusing to uprate benefits by inflation and taking 15% out of all the departmental budgets except health and defence. In one of the greatest flourishes of understatement since Emperor Hirohito declared in 1945 that the war had developed not necessarily to Japan's advantage, the IFS said such spending cuts could be done but would be far from easy. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I disagree with the IFS. I don't think these spending cuts could be done. I don't think they can get them through the House of Commons. And by the way, I don't think the Chancellor can reverse his tax cut plan either without resigning. Opposition MPs agree, so do many Tory MPs. Mel Stride chairs the Treasury Select Committee. You will know his voice because he seems to be on this show more often than I am. Here is Mr Stride lobbing Mr Quateng, a little gentle menace, in the Commons this afternoon. Could I caution him that when it comes to the measures that he puts forward to underpin that forecast, that he reaches out as much as he can across this side of the House and the other side of the House to be absolutely certain that he can get those measures through this House. Any failure to do so will unsettle the markets. Well said, and here's the answer. He's absolutely right that we will and should uh, canvass opinion uh, widely ahead of the publication of the plan. Because, of course, the Chancellor isn't an idiot. He's trying to soothe and buy himself time until that all-important statement of how the books will be balanced comes out at the end of this month. But it's hard to see what he can actually now do. The markets are not in a forgiving mood. He can't get those cuts through Parliament. And meanwhile, the situation in the financial system is deeply worrying. More about that later on.